Hey guys, my name is Leka Crystal and if you're new here, welcome, welcome and if you're not new here, then welcome back. Now before I start with this vlog, I want to thank expats in Switzerland. You guys helped me put the whole idea of this video together, so thank you guys for that. Now I'd like to make a quick disclaimer. I understand that everyone has a different situation, everyone's coming from different countries, coming from different backgrounds, so some of these things that I point out might not be that relatable to you, but please don't hate me for it. And now that I've shared my thoughts, let's begin. Now here are the 11 things that you need to know before moving to Switzerland. The first point that I'd like to make is winter, specifically winter clothes. Before moving here, you need to know that Swiss clothes and specifically winter clothes are very expensive to buy inside Switzerland. So if you're planning to move here, I suggest you buy the clothes either online or in your home country before moving here because it's really, really, really expensive. The second thing that you need to know before moving to Switzerland is that Switzerland is expensive. I know a lot of people say this and if you're coming from a third world country like me, the prices can be overwhelming. And if you're wondering what I mean by expensive, I mean like the cost of living here is high, but worry not, once you start working here, then you'll be fine. The third point would be to bring your no criminal record from your home country. This is a very specific detail, but it is also very important. At one point when you move here, you will be asked to get it or show it to them somehow. Whether it's from work or apartment application, or I think they asked for it from me when I applied for my residence card. And um, yeah, it was a really big hassle for me because I lived in America and in Philippines. So I had to get both no criminal records from each country and it just took such a long time to do. So before you move here, you better get that. The fourth point is very similar to the third one and it is you need to have your important documents and you need to have all of it apostled or certified like to show that it's like an official document from for example Philippines and if possible bring copies of like each document. For example, I have three birth certificates right now and I actually used it for the, the permanent resident application and I also had to submit one again when I went to school. So it's very useful to have multiple documents and multiple copies of it because they will ask for it from you at one point during your stay here. So please, before you move here, get them. The fifth point that you need to know is the Sundays in Switzerland. Sundays in Switzerland is something that I'm still very much not used to. Every single Sunday in Switzerland is basically a ghost town. Everything is closed except for gas stations and the train station obviously and some stores inside the train station. For me, living in Philippines in America, we don't really have this, so I had to really adjust my plans. It's like, for example, you wanna go groceries, you can't do that on a Sunday because stuff is closed, so. It's a little inconvenient, but if you imagine working in the grocery store, you don't need to work on Sunday, so that's like, you know, a trade-off, and yeah, that's just something that you need to know. It's like a ghost town here on Sundays. The sixth point is something that you need to do before you move here, not something that you need to know before you move here, but I hope you can do it. It's to get a medical checkup before leaving your home country. Before entering states for good, it is actually required to get a medical checkup, like a full body thingy one but in here it's not really required and i think you would save so much money if you do this in your home country first because if you get the medical checkup in your home country then you can get stuff fixed like for example your teeth mine was such a very you know expensive lesson i didn't get my teeth checked before i left philippines or america so when i arrived here we had to pay a lot of stuff for my teeth because I started getting teeth pains. So you could save so much money if you just get stuff done in your home country. And I know insurance here is mandatory, by the way, but there are some things like basic things you can't really, you know, get insured for, like for example, the teeth that I mentioned earlier. 
My seventh point is restaurants here are very expensive. I know it seems a bit redundant to the whole Switzerland being expensive, cost of living and blah blah blah. But I really wanted to mention this because I love good food. You should learn how to cook it by yourself because the prices here are crazy. It's like every time you eat out here, it's like you're eating at a good restaurant but the taste is average or something. So. If you want good food, you should learn how to cook. The eighth point is trains. Before you move here, you need to be familiar with how Swiss people travel and we travel by train. Train, tram, bus actually. Before you move here, you need to know how commuting works. I'm pretty sure at one point in your life, when you live here, you will need to go from point A to B and yeah, you need to learn how to do that by using the SBB app. The app will show you where to go from your house to your work or wherever you want to go. And it's actually more accurate than Google Maps because they have like the details on like train delays and stuff like that. So you know like not to take this train at that certain time because it's late or something like that so be familiar with that and also with the SBB app you can buy your day ticket or your help tax or your Gaia. Help tax is one <clears throat> I think I'm pronouncing that wrong um, it's one annual fee of 185 Swiss francs I think and you basically get all your train tickets half off for the days that you do use it or you could get a Gaia which is also called a general abonnement abonnement whatever it allows you to ride the train tram bus there's no extra cost other than the monthly fee and it's basically like a train subscription or something the ninth point that you need to know is you need to decide whether you want to live in a place that has high taxes but low rental or low taxes but high rental so yeah those are your choices it's either you live in an expensive place or in an expensive place and also if you want to live near the city then that's even more expensive so people here are actually very much used to traveling 30 40 minutes to get to work or to school because living in the city is not very ideal if you're not earning that much or something. The tenth point that you need to know before moving here is you need to take a class in whatever language your area will be. If you live in the German area like me, then before you move here, you should learn how to speak at least basic German because it's very helpful. And the last point is the eleventh point. Switzerland is beautiful! You probably already know this, but I just wanted to remind you that Switzerland is very beautiful and before you move here like really move in I suggest that you should be a tourist of the country before you really like move here move here <laughs> you can use your Gaia and travel around the whole country without any extra cost I've done this several times before and it was just really worth it and that is all you need to know before moving here to Switzerland if you're interested in more content like this just comment it below to let me know don't forget to like and subscribe bye Interested in watching more videos? Click one of these.